Hey, what's up, guys? It's JKK Tag, and today we're back at again with a Royal Hogs Three Musketeer deck. Royal Hogs are back in the meta, and we actually switched out the Royal Ghost for the Lumberjack because Royal Ghost got nerfed so many times. Lumberjack rages up the Three Musketeers for even more tower damage and more tower hits. You also have Three Musketeers and Hunter for tower defense, so if your opponent ever fireballs or poisons, you're gonna have another unit available. Check out this deck for 12 win grand challenges or hit it up on the ladder. It has a very fast cycle with the Ice Golem Skeletons and Bar Barrel. So you have three cards at two Elixir to get you back to those Royal Hogs or three Musketeers on defense. All right, guys, let's go. So we got a game against someone from Grey Goose. What's up, dude? Sasa out of good luck here. Just going to go for Skeletons, waiting to see if he wants to spam a little bit more so I get more Elixir with a 3M. Doesn't look like it. So I'm going to go 3M now. So we should be able to deny all hits from those Fire Spirits, hopefully. And we'll see what's up. We'll see what's good. See what he wants to do. So he has Electro. See Furnace is a little bit unfortunate because we do have Royal Hogs. It's one of the hardest counters to the Royal Hogs. It's the direct building counter. He is going to Lightning though. So that's good for me. That's definitely really good. want to wait for one of them to die. And then I want to go for an Ice Golem to go pull that opposite. And I want to go opposite with Royal Hogs. So really important to not take all the hits from that. We go Hunter since he just ended up using his spells. He's going to have no way of killing that Hunter. He's going to spend all of his Elixir on defense against the Royal Hogs. Ice Golem tanking as well. If you guys noticed, that Ice Golem was pivotal in getting as much damage as possible. I'm going to go for Bar Barrel. I'm going to wait, though. I don't want that to draw back. It probably will. The Fireball here. We did split up the Fire Spirits as well, so we get more chip damage. I would say this is probably one of the harder matchups since he does have Furnace. He also has Guards for our uh, Lumberjack. Lightning was interesting to see. If he had Fireball, I think it would be a little more difficult, but Lightning always has that surprise factor that can just win him games immediately. I'm going to go for 3M. I'm not going to split 2 towards him because then he could just Lightning it for value. If he wants to Lightning the 1, I'm okay with that. Musky will end up killing the Electro, so I'm fine with that as well. That's really good for me, actually. And then I can go split the Royal Hogs. You know, he's probably going to go for Furnace, but we should get more value out of the Musky this way. It's going to Mega Minion, and then he doesn't Furnace. Okay, that's a lot of damage. That's what I'm talking about. Mega Minion provides no counter push potential at all. The guards will die, and then I get value with the Barbarian Barrel. Because he has to defend that. That's going to get tower damage on him. That gets two hits if he doesn't respond. That's a lot of chip for us. That's a ton of chip, actually. He most likely will go for a Royal Giant. He does. It's a good prediction for me. I'm going to go Skellies now. I'm going to go 3M up high. See if he Lightnings that... Okay, good. I already got value out of it before he ended up lightning in, so I'm fine with that. I'm going to go for a fireball here. I'm definitely going to end up taking the tower now. There's no way for him to defend that. I'm going to go for the ice golem after one of the fire spirits already connects. And now I just need to spam the river and make sure he's not able to connect with the royal giant. So he's going to RG here. I'm going to wait for that to happen. Skeletons first, then I go for hunter in case he goes for mega minion because then it targets the skeletons. And yeah, no hits from the Royal Giant. So we played that almost perfectly, I would say. That was really good for us. The Fireball and uh, the Ice Golem at the start was really clutch. That Ice Golem at the start gave us so many more hits. Peace out, Girl Scout. All right, we're gonna go Sauce Out of good luck here. I'm gonna go for Ice Golem in the back and we'll see what's up. This dude is gonna go Sauce Out of thanks and he's not gonna drop a single card. Okay, Lumberjack in the back. We wanna go Lumberjack, mirror his maneuver. And I want to get counter push because our Lumberjack is going to be shielded by the Ice Golem, which is always good for us. He's not dropping anything. He's going to go for Inferno Dragon. So Inferno Dragon Lumberjack is just telling me that it's going to be a skillless freeze deck already. I can sense it, guys. It's going to be a freeze. He's going to freeze it right now. Or he's going to NATO it back. What are you going to do, dude? He's going to NATO it back. Okay. So I really want to end up going in for three Musketeers. I want to go for two towards the Inferno Dragon to DPS down as soon as possible. And then I want to... I don't need to drop Skellies. I'm not even going to get any tower damage if I drop two towards it. Could end up going in for a Bar Barrel in front of the Musketeer. He might end up trying to tank for this. And if he does, then, you know, the Bar Barrel is going to be tanking for us. So, yeah, man, we're getting more chip. Forcing him to freeze. Let's go. All right, man. I actually didn't get the Bar Barrel down in time, but uh, still baited out the freeze because he thought I did. Feels really good, man. So he does end up having freeze. I was completely correct. We end up going for Skellies in the back, and he's most likely going to end up having a balloon deck as soon as we see... Lumberjack, Inferno Dragon, Freeze, Baby Dragon, Nato. Looks like Balloons, so I want to not use my Hunter until I have to. He's going to end up having Bowler and Bar Barrel here, so that's a lot of Elixir that he just casted on the map. If I go in for 3M, and then I get Counter Push, it's always great. 
I'm trying to get all these like huge elixir trades and a whole bunch of like interactions early, early on in single elixir. So then he's not able to afford these massive and juicy balloon freeze pushes because it costs a lot of elixir to go in for a balloon freeze in single elixir and reliably be able to defend your other side. So if I consistently go in for royal hogs or apply aggression, it's going to take a lot of elixir for him to do both at the same time. So essentially what I'm trying to say is in single elixir, we should always have a huge benefit. And then in double elixir, it should be way harder for us to defend. As you guys just saw there, he should be able to get a lot of tower damage. But we are also going to go in for Royal Hogs just to make sure that we rein in the pain. Because, you know, you can't do two things at once. I realize if he spends a lot of elixir on offense, he's not going to have a lot for defense. And we do get some tower damage there, so that's good for us. I'm going to go in for 3M again in the back. And he's going to end up going for a bowler. So it looks like I want to apply heavy aggression on the opposite lane here. So that's exactly what's good. I'm going to end up going for an Ice Golem. I want to end up going for a Lumberjack. And then I also want to go in for a Barbarian Barrel. So then the Bowler hits that instead of the two Muskies if possible as soon as it bounces back. So that's really good. So then I can go in for Royal Hogs because we're going to have the two Muskies alive still. And then we should be able to get some nice tower damage if not take his tower. So notice what I did. I just laid into the aggression as soon as I realized what he was running. I realized that I had to get aggression, had to get tower damage there if I wanted to win the game. Because if I focused on defending, he was just going to balloon freeze my... Uh, Hunter and I would have lost the game, so I just can't have that happen. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Pleasure playing against you, man. All right, we're going to go kick off the game with the Lumberjack here. This guy's going to end up going in for a bar putt, so I could go opposite lane and swerve him with these Royal Hogs since he dropped it a little bit shallow. We'll see what's up. We'll see what's good. And I'm going to go for my Royal Hogs right about now, see if we can get that connection on the tower. We ended up only getting one towards the tower, unfortunately, but he did miss the Fireball, so we're going to get a lot of chip damage on top of the bar putt, which is good for us. The bats are not going to provide any significant value, so then I'm going to go for 3 on the back since he just did Fireball. The two muskies should be able to kill his one Barbarian that has a lot of HP. This is looking like the Electro Dragon variation of Bridge Spam, so we'll see if he's exactly running that or if he's running something different. No, he's going to end up having the uh, Ram Rider. I haven't seen this variation in a fat minute, man. I'm going to go for Skeletons, and maybe we're going to be able to kill that Ram Rider in the nick of time. I don't... Oh man, it's so hard to gauge that. I was going to say I don't know and uh, ended up getting a very juicy connection off on us. So he's going to end up going in for another bar putt. I'm going to go for a hunter. thought I was going to be able to get away with just skellies. And it looks like if I go in for Royal Hogs here, he's probably going to fireball, which would be good for us because then we can go for three musketeers and then have them healthier. So I'm going to go do that. Only one of them is going to go towards the tower, and then he's going to miss them again. So he's uh, he's about that life of just missing the Royal Hogs. We're getting value, a lot of value, because we're going to end up hitting the uh, the bar putt with each push. So that's great. I'm going to end up going in for an Ice Golem here. I need to make sure that that does not get... Okay, looks like it was going to get a hit, man. It's hard to tell with the Bandit in some situations. So he's going to end up going in for another Ram Rider here. Looks like our best case scenario is going for a bar barrel to deny some of the damage on top of our musketeer, allowing us to uh, keep one of them alive and then getting counter push with it on the weaker tower for him. So that's always good. I'm going to go for skeletons in the back again. He's going to go in for yet again another bar putt. I'm going to go in for royal hogs. He's going to fireball again. And then I want to get away with three musketeers. He didn't fireball. Okay. That's, that's different, man. That's really whack. I was definitely expecting a fireball. So I'm going to go for a fireball of my own. Getting that skeleton ship damage. He's going to have three musketeers of his own as well. So I'm going to go in for a split push. I want to cycle back to fireball on the right hand side. I really want him to spam there. Yes, this is good. These are good things. And now I'm going to fireball all this. Can we get it? Give it to daddy, dude. That's what I'm talking about. I knew he was going to spam it because we only dropped one musketeer there. So the mind games worked out in our favor. I'm going to go in for royal hogs. We're going to split two towards the left hand side. And I was hoping that he would just overcommit with a fireball or something crazy. Sometimes they do that in desperate situations when there's two Royal Hogs going towards their weaker tower. They will heavily overcommit with a fireball. And that's always great to see. I want to go in for an Ice Golem here. And it looks like I probably am going to end up having to fireball the right hand side again. We'll see though. I want to go in for Lumberjack first. I want to go in for Royal Hogs here. He's going to fireball. And it looks like that we will be able to get the tower on the left if I go in for a fireball of my own. We're definitely going to end up killing the uh, fly machine, and that should be uh, spelling doom for him quite literally. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Pleasure playing against you, man. Glad to steal that W from him. Whew, snagged it. All right, when I go sauce out of good luck here, I'm going to end up going in for Royal Hogs on the right-hand side. This guy's going to end up going in for a Miner and Goblin Gang. So Goblin Gang, Log Miner. 
Yikes. Is this going to be some type of mortar deck? It doesn't have bar barrel. Most mortar decks usually have bar barrel, but looking like mortar. We are going to get one hit there, so that's really good for us. Ice Golem to defend, making sure that the Dark Goblin is not going to single hit on our tower is really good, but if he mortars, then I don't have a tank for it, which is unfortunate. But I'm going to go in for three Musketeers, make sure that we have map presence on the map. It's going to mortar on defense. I don't have anything to defend the three muskies. They're just going to die. Those muskies are gone. They're forfeit from this game. I can go for Royal Hogs and support them a little bit. But yeah, those muskies are locked onto by the mortar, so they're definitely dead. Bats come down, so that's a lot of elixir from him with the prince. And I'm most likely going to have to go for a bar barrel here, so that's going to be our best bet. I'm going to do that as early as possible. Hopefully the skeletons get hit first, so then the barbarian has enough uh, HP to finish off the prince without any hits. The bats will lock onto the ice golem, so that's really good for me, fortunately. And we're not going to take too much tower damage from those bats because they're not going to get on top of the tower, fortunately. Um, miners are used, so if he drops any type of swarm unit, I'm not going to have to worry about that counter pushing. So that's good for me. I don't have ice golem to block for the mortar at all, but I do end up having lumberjack. I don't want to go lumberjack right into him. I think that's one of the worst possible plays. Because he would just be able to defend it with swarm units, and I don't want that to happen at all. I can go for skeletons, and hopefully the skeletons are going to deny enough, but the bats were in front, so it didn't really work out for me. So he ends up dropping Goblin Gang. That's out of cycle, out of mind. But he also does have Miner, which would be really bad. If he had Minered with that, that would have sucked, because that would have had to bait out the uh, Barb Barrel. If you're playing Mortar, and you don't Miner with those cards, that is so good for your opponent. So, fortunately, he did not do that. I'm going to have to go for 3M, and then I'm also going to have to drop an Ice Golem here. I really want to get these Muskies to kill... If the Prince dies, then we're in a decent situation moving forward. He's probably going to log. I want to bait out a log, so I want to go for a Lumberjack here. Definitely want him to log this. He's not going to. Oh my gosh. Does he just want to eat a ton of damage? Dude. Let's take it. Give me that snack value, brother. So if he goes in for a Mortar, I'll have Skeletons to split. I'm going to go in for 3M. Fortunately, now I don't have an answer to the, uh, the Prince Mortar combination. I'm actually going to have to go in for Bar Barrel here to finish off that Miner. He did just Fireball, so I'm going to go for my Royal Hogs. Kind of want a pre-Fireball, but I did not. I saved it. He's going to save my Elixir here. I don't want to overcommit against this dude. This guy's so aggressive, man. I actually do have to go in for a uh, Ice Golem just to tank. Then I'm also going to go for another set of Royal Hogs. Bar Barrel's tanking, so we should be okay here. Maybe we outcycled him. If we all cycled him, we severely outplayed him then. Come on, man. Give it to me. I need this W. Skelly's again. Skelly's going to get hit first, so then I can 3M, and then I can Ice Golem here. Hopefully bait out a Fireball, so then I can go in for Royal Hogs again. Hopefully he cycles back to a Fireball ferociously. That's what I wanted to have happen. Those skeletons tanking were vicious, man. Fireball me, please. Oh, the musky locked on. That's what I'm talking about. Go for the bar barrel. I think we got the game. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Seems like a little bit harder when they have Prince instead of Rascals. Rascals are fireballable, and the Prince, like, I always have to keep skeletons, which I usually want to save for the mortar to distract. So, yeah, it was a little bit tough, but we did walk away with the W with that skeleton plus three musketeer high play, and uh, yeah, we got a lot of value from that. All right, so we're going to end up going for skeletons in the back. We'll see what's up. We got a game against Independent. He's an independent person. A strong independent person that doesn't need any advice on what to play. This guy is going to be running something on his own volition. Whatever he decides with the Musketeer. Yep, Musketeer Poison. Not a deck that I'm used to seeing at all. I want to go for a nice goal in front so then we can get some more value out of our Muskies. They're still going to die inside the Poison, but at least we're going to be able to kill the... Uh, oh, actually, they don't die inside the Poison. Muskie is still alive. That's great. So I want to go for a Hunter here to pull the P.E.K.K.A. And I might actually have to go in for a Lumberjack here. Don't really want to, but I have to. And then Skelly's to make sure that the Lumberjack does not die immediately. Oh my gosh. He went in for a Zap as well. This guy is super feisty. How many Berry Baby Dragon Belches is he about to get? I know that as many Baby Dragon Belches as he wants is not going to equate to a couple P.E.K.K.A. hits. So I'm okay with that, man. That is still a ton of damage, but it is not two or three P.E.K.K.A. hits on my tower. So I'm okay with that. I'll be okay with it because I have to be okay with it, guys. All right? I'm going to end up going in for three Musketeers in the back because he's going to go in for a Spear Goblin Hut. I just don't want to go pressure him with a uh, Royal Hogs push right into that. He's going to go for a Poison. Now I want to go for Royal Hogs because three Musketeers will be tanked for by the Royal Hogs. And then those two Muskies with low HP will still be alive. 
giving me considerable tower damage on the right hand side. That low HP magic, boys. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, man. So it doesn't look like he has Elixir for a P.E.K.K.A. So I just want to go Ice Golem here. And I also want to go for a Bar Barrel to finish off that. Bar Barrel is going to be our best bet at finishing off that Musketeer early on. And then it also bounces back to the Baby Dragon so it doesn't get hit on our tower. Could be a little bit unfortunate if he ends up having NATO with this deck as well. We'll see if he has it. He hasn't dropped it on the three Musketeers to make them all in one lane. So that's good for us. I'm going to go in for Skellies here. And I'm going to immediately follow up with three Musketeers. Not going to leak any Elixir. Yeah, so he does have NATO. I was wondering. That's why I dropped two of the muskies here. So then when he NATOs and poisons, he's not NATOing and poisoning the healthy tower. Or the weaker tower. He's always NATOing and poisoning the healthy one. Which is always good. One muskie did not survive, unfortunately, guys. Yikes. Go for a hunter here. I still really haven't seen his like win condition. It could be graveyard, and that would be really bad, man. Going for skellies. And it looks like three Musketeers are going to be the wave. If I can get down an Ice Golem in time, so then the uh, Baby Dragon doesn't belch on us. So is he going to be able to defend that? Are we just going to Tower Trade? It looks like it's going to be a Tower Trade. There's like no way that you're defending those three Muskies, brother. You spent all of your Elixir. I'm going to go in for a Hunter here. Skelly's after. This is really good for us. So we're going to get a nice counter push again. You know what? I want a 3M here. Why not? We're going to kill that, and then I could go for Royal Hogs. You might P.E.K.K.A. We'll see. Okay, cool. Now I go for Royal Hogs. What do you have for this? Absolutely nothing. That's going to take your entire tower. You just dropped a P.E.K.K.A. and a Zap. That should do so much damage to you, dude. That didn't do as much as I expected. We did bait out a NATO, though. That's always good. I was hoping for a little bit more. Yeah, the P.E.K.K.A. is going to go opposite lane, so I was like about to drop the Lumberjack right into the P.E.K.K.A. That would have been pretty bad, man. I'm going to Ice Golem. Hopefully we can go and pull that. I'm going to Skelly so then the pack goes on that instead. Oh my gosh. Look at that Lumberjack. It went hard in the paint on this man. I'm going to go split three muskies again. It looks like I might go for the... Uh, yeah, you know what? I could Fireball or I could go for Royal Hogs. I want to go for Royal Hogs here. Eliminate that Spear Goblin Hut as soon as possible. Give us a little bit of a tank for that Musketeer as well. Always nice to see out here. Go for a Hunter as well. I still can't believe that Lumberjack, guys. It was like a ninja coming in with all that clutch damage. Sometimes that just happens, and I just don't expect it at all. He could go for a NATO and Poison on all this, and I wouldn't be so surprised to see that. Yo, he doesn't have Elixir for it anymore as soon as he went for that log. He's still going to try to NATO it back, but he does miss one of them, and I just need one more hit. Man, is it going to happen? It was so close yet so far away there, guys. And since he still ends up having that, I, I think our best bet is just going in for 3M. I still haven't seen his win condition. What is this deck? Do you have Graveyard and just haven't used it the entire game, brother? Like, I'm so confused. But one of the best things you could possibly do is when you're just in a situation of distress, go for the 3M in the back. It's a very safe play, and then they have to allocate spells. Or if they spam you, they lose the game automatically. So you're really just giving them the potential to throw away the game if they really want to. And yeah, GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Pleasure playing against you, Independent.